What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back again. Welcome to the award show. We're gonna do something that I haven't done ever. Well, I take that back. We're gonna do something that I haven't done in probably close to 19, 20 years. We are going to open a pack, or multiple packs that is, of Pokemon cards. You heard that right. We're gonna open some Pokemon cards. There's been a lot of hype and a lot of traction being built with this recently, especially since the Shining Fates kits came out. So I figured I'd hop on that bandwagon a little bit, open up a couple boxes and uh, see what we pull. So I take that back. We're gonna open one box. We're gonna spam it over a couple of videos just cause I don't want this to get too long. I'm new to it and man, this new booster box was expensive. So might as well get my contents worth out of it, right? So let me go ahead, let's get to unboxing this guy, and I think we'll pull about 12 packs, see what we pull, and you know, nothing exciting, we'll, maybe we'll open a couple more. We'll just have to see. Let me turn this camera on real quick. Hopefully the lighting isn't terrible for you, and let's get to unboxing. Alright guys, so here we have the new Battle Styles booster box. I went to my local hobby store out here in Denver to pick this up. Had to call them a few times to see when they were gonna get them in. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely pricey, that's for sure. I have the weird phone camera setup thing and it's kind of uncomfortable to sit like this, but you know, that's why we're gonna span it over a couple videos. So let's go ahead, let's open this bad boy up and get to opening some packs. Man, I'm struggling with this. Cellophane, like I said before, is just not my friend. All right. There we go. There's a lot of crud coming off of this thing. My poor mat. I'm gonna move these keyboard and mouse out of the way. And while I was at the store, I also picked up a pack of these sleeves. Something special. They were definitely affordable. I wasn't gonna pay. Oh God, I just dropped them everywhere. They were trying to get me to buy, or they didn't try to get me to buy them, but they had some really expensive ones there that had custom decals on it. And with me being so new, I figured I'd go with the cheap option. They'll still keep them protected, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll just keep this small little stack to the side just in case we get some pretty awesome pulls. All right, let's get into it, guys. Adjust this guy down. All right. That goes right back there. Set this off to the side. This is not a sponsored Corona video. So what I'm thinking for the first one is we just go back and forth between the sides, pulling six set from each side. Ooh. Overall, what are we hoping for? Of course, we want to pull that Golden Houndoom or Octillery. I've seen a Houndoom get pulled. I'm sure somebody else has probably posted a video somewhere pulling the Octillery, but I haven't seen it yet. So I have high hopes that we pull that Golden Octillery. I think it'd be really cool as well if we went ahead and we pulled the full set from one booster box of the Single Strike and Rapid Strike Ur Urshifus. But we'll see. Now I gotta remember how these things open. Like I said, it's been years since I opened my first pack of Pokemon cards. Ooh. Kind of peaked it there. We'll get this down. All right, there is the code. Everybody shows these. One, two, three, four. All right. We have a Water Energy, Cedra, Honchcrow, Perugly, Esper, Roly Coley. Oh man, I think I see something in the back already, but I, I could be tripping. Salambit, Corfish, Slowpoke, ooh, a Reverse Conkledor, and a Shiny Bronzong, the Holo, sorry, and the Hollow Bronzong. That's what's up, that thing is sick. I've definitely seen this get pulled a couple times, but seeing as it's been so long since I uh, pulled my first pack, Back in the day, I don't even know if we called it pulling packs. We were just opening Pokemon cards, man. But I'm gonna go ahead, just because I have them, I'm gonna sleeve these two. These are so sweet. First pack down. 
I'll definitely have to look into some better lighting for you guys, that's for sure, as I keep going with this. But let's set those to the side, and let's switch sides, and uh, keep this thing going. Alright, code, whoever's interested. One, two, three, four. Alright, first we have the Psychic Energy, Fira, Heatmore, Phoebe, Yamper, Galarian Slowpoke, Glammeow, a Sizzlepede, Sleepy Onyx, ooh and a Spu- oh, Spupa, Reverse, and a Vivillon. That's such a cool artwork. I like that. I mean, it's not, the, not, a, not a hollow or anything, but it looks like somebody made that in Illustrator. <laughs> As I say, because I'm taking Illustrator classes. All right. Cool pull. Tyranitar pack. All right. Code. Two, three, four. All right, another psychic energy. Karina's Focus, Tower of Waters, Crawdont, Salanded again, Gligar, Baltoy, Electabuzz, Honedge, a Buffalon. That's sick. Another reverse. And the Galarian Slowbro. This guy gets pulled a lot, that's for sure. I've done a, my fair share of research on this new pack and I think that from what I've heard, the pull rates on it are kind of meh. So we'll just have to see, hopefully we get lucky. I mean, of course I'm gonna have to buy another set at some point. We're gonna keep doing this because this is fun. I quite enjoy this. This brings me back to my childhood a little bit. So I'm excited. We're gonna keep rolling with this. Put those in sleeves, just cause they're kind of iconic for the pack. I've got the extra sleeves, so why not use them, right? All right. Let's go ahead and keep this thing rolling. Code again. Yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I pulled any cards, so. I don't know if I'm gonna get into anything sports related. We'll see. I've been watching a lot of Vice's TV and they've been doing a lot of uh, NBA and Madden. Ha, <laughs> Madden. A lot of pro football, so maybe I'll have to get into that a little bit. I just have to do my research before I start spending money on everything. Uh, so we have a Fire Energy, Mustard with no ketchup, Spupa, Luxio, Ooh, that's dope, Spiro, Sleepy Onyx, Bell Sprouts, Galarian Mr. Mime, Silicobra, a Timber Reverse, oh, and a Necrozma V. Nice. That is sweet. Wow. That's a pretty good pull from my first pack. First pack back. I mean, I've definitely seen a good pull before, but that thing is sweet. Pop it up right there so you guys can fully see that. If it will focus on the card, there we go. Yeah, that thing is sweet, dude. I love that, all right. I'm happy with that pull right there. How many packs deep are we right now? I think we're four deep. We're gonna sleeve these bad boys up real quick. Most people that were watching this are probably like, why the hell is he sleeving those? But, cause guys, I'm fresh back in the game. These things are cool. I think uh, it's funny cause I was watching Leon Hart the other day and he was doing unbox or unpacks. Ugh, where's the heart? He was doing some pack openings of some original Pokemon packs and he had the Team Rocket pack. And it was just reminding me, like, I used to have a massive Pokemon collection back in the day. And 
trying to be a minimalist, I guess. At one point, I was like, I don't use these Pokemon cards anymore, not thinking that they were worth something or could be worth something. And I think I tossed like 500 Pokemon cards. I definitely had no G Charizard. I definitely had quite a few of the Team Rocket packs. So, Big L, stay taking the L's. Let's keep this thing rolling. There's your code again, whoever wants it. One, two, three, four. I hope that was right. All right, fire energy. Sorry guys, I keep drooping there. Not the most comfortable position with this full-size tripod. Per ugly, EXP share. Oh gosh, I'm pulling too many cards. Weeping Bell, Bronzor, Bell Sprout, Electabuzz, Gligar. Definitely a lot of repeats. Hone Edge, speaking of repeats. A Fomantis. Ooh, that's sick. I like that. And Karina's Focus. Nice. Look at that card, man. Wow. Let's go up to this camera again. Check this one out. Oh my goodness. They absolutely killed these cards, guys. Centering is definitely a bit off. That's a little bit of a shame. You can definitely tell that this side has a little bit more, but that's okay. I don't know if this is going to be the most lucrative pack I'll ever open, but I'm just excited to do my first one and kind of get back into it. It's definitely something that's been interesting me for a little while. I know that, you know, of course there's Leon Hart and watch a little bit of Harrison's videos of doing some slab openings. So, wow. It's crazy how many cards you actually get rolling. I mean, a lot of these are repeats, but hell. All right. I kind of lost track of where we pulled from. I think we're here. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, it's been a long time since I opened any packs, so this is super sick. I love that it's building traction again. I mean, I've never fallen off the game of playing actual Pokemon. I've played through Sword like four or five times. There's your code. Two, three, four. I keep having this weird feeling that I'm pulling too many cards when I'm doing that rotation. Whoa. Electric, Luxio, Grumpig. That's another interesting art. Escape rope. That looks like Leonardo da Vinci drew that thing. Crazy. Blip bug, Frillish, Fomantis, the OG. Nothing special about that one. Another Galarian Mr. Mine. Ball Toy. Bruno Mars. And a Bolton. All right. That's a pretty cool looking Bruno Mars. I still have to do more research into what all these particular cards are called, but I'm pretty sure that that is a reverse rare. Could be wrong. It's a dope card though, I like that. Okay, sorry, I'm nitpicking. I just had to make sure because I don't want to pull too many. I want to space this out over a couple of videos just because of how expensive they were. You guys like that uh, that art by the way? I just made that today. I gotta figure out a better way to broadcast this, but I just made that. It's pretty sick. Welcome to the award show. And also I got my Jay Garrick Funko Pop there. Was it you know me? Jay Garrick it is, you know. Die hard Flash fan over here. All right, let's keep this thing rolling. Don't wanna make this video too terribly long, especially since we're only opening a third probably of this set. There's your code again. I'm curious, are all these codes the same? Nope, they're not. Individualized. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm gonna pull Leon Hart here. Leaf energy. Ooh, nice. Pat's on back, Leon Hart. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, leaf energy. Kevin Durant. Or well, my joke is Kevin Durant's son, Dio Durant. Girder, Tower of Darkness. Tepig, Murkrow, Cubone. And I remember he was one of my favorites. Scatterbug, Corefish. Broxish, ooh, that is sick. We're gonna pop this guy up right here. Get a little closer look on that guy. All right, let's see, is this the money right here? Oh, 
We are close. Sent a scorch. Nice. We are gonna pack that bad boy real quick. And I forgot to put that in as well. So real quick, let's put these in their sleeves. And to keep these in good condition just because they're because they're special cards, I like to keep them in good condition. I didn't pay a whole lot for these sleeves, like four bucks, so came with 50 of them. I don't think that's too terribly bad. All right, come on Emporion, bring us luck. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling in this first third, we're gonna pull some gold. We'll see, I mean, no promises, but I feel it. There's your code. Ooh, Leaf Energy again, nice. Carcoal, Bruno Mars, Goldback, sorry guys. Chim Echo, Roly Coley, Blitbug, Frillish, Cubone again. Single Strike Mustard. I got the, uh, the rare, where is it at? I don't wanna lose it. There's the already sleeved Bruno. Got both of those and clay doll. Nice. All right. I feel like we're flying through this, but I'm sure if I looked at the camera's time, we're. Oh, yeah, look at that. 16 minutes. Crazy. I feel like Leon Hart just like flies through these openings. So does Harrison. But I'm just kind of taking my time chatting with you guys, having a nice cold Corona and having a good time. That's all it's about, right? Making sure I got a pull from the right side here. I don't want to. Keep flip flopping back and forth. All right. There's your code again. Oh, it's all green. Didn't want to see that, but it's okay. From what I've seen, if you pull the all green, it's not as good as it could be. Psychic Energy, Aluxio, Tower of Waters, Escape Rope, Mawile, Cacnea, Corefish. Timber, Ball Toy, the Phoebe. Nice, I'm getting all these. You love to see that. And give me the money here. Phalanx, Rapid Strike Phalanx. I thought this guy was the most weird Pokemon in the entire Sword and Shield series, but I remember that one part where it's going in and out of the tunnels. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying when you're trying to just uh, beeline it to the, beeline it to the end zone. But it is what it is. You gotta catch them all, right? On to the next. I feel like I just pulled from the same side I just did, but it is what it is. I probably just gave a sneak peek to that card. We'll get there, guys. We will get there. I like this a lot. I feel like we can just sit down and chat. There's your card number, or your code. Good one, that one didn't flip. Two, three, four. I feel like when I'm doing sneaker videos and stuff like that, it's stuff like that. I feel like when I'm doing sneaker videos, I'm kind of forced to just sit there and talk about the shoe a lot of the time. I kind of spitball sometimes, but this is nice. I'm kind of just talking, talking to myself, talking to myself right now in the moment, but at one point it'll be with you guys. Anyway, Fire Energy, Dio Durant, Girder, Tower of Darkness, Salandit, Gligar, Ball Toy, Electabuzz, Hone Edge, Gligar. I hope I'm right when I say this. Reverse Rare. It's a nice card. And Lorantis. Nice. All right, we're gonna sleeve up this Gligar. Again, you're probably like, why is he sleeving the non-super exciting cards? Man, yeah, I'm just keeping things in good condition. At some point I'll have to invest in a binder again. All right, on to the next. I feel like we're getting close to the wire here. Maybe we'll do 16. There's your code. One, two, three, four. All right. Metal Energy. Cacturn. Scroll of Swirls. Seedra, that's a cool card. I like that one. Yamper. Bell Sprouts, Mean Fu, Salandit, Murkrow, Crobat, Reverse. Oh, show me the money. 
Oh, Stonjor. That's dope. All right. I doubt that you guys can hear it because I do have this microphone pretty much set to pick up right in front of my face, but there's like a high school right outside my apartment. I mean, not literally right outside my apartment, but pretty close. If you knew me back in high school, I was in marching band. I kind of hated it at the time. Now I have an appreciation for it, but I can hear them practicing and at the games. So I'm just listening to the drum line the whole day. Well, not the whole day, parts of the day. All right, on to the next. So that was our 11th pack. Oh, Tyranitar, give us some luck here. Your code? One, two, three, F-O-A. Probably after this, I need to do some cleaning. I gotta edit some video, and I do wanna sit down and play some Rainbow Six, even though it's probably more toxic than Call of Duty, but it is what it is. Look, did I get that last one wrong? Man, I gotta get back on this. I don't actually know what energy this is. I've gotta do my research again. It's been a long time since I opened packs. Dotler, fan of waves, pig knight, spoink, cacnea, bronzor, salandit, gligar, the frillish, reverse. Oh man, let this be it. Oh, and the prime ape. Damn, guys. Just hoping we might get a, a little bit of a better pull out of these. We're like super deep in the stack right now. Look at this. See how fast they accumulate. I'm gonna open two more packs and then we'll save the, uh, what is that back there? I got a pack hiding, a pack hiding in the back. Let's do a, let's do a the middle of the stack pull. We're gonna do two last, two last ones. So that'll leave us with over half for the next video. All right, one of these bad boys better bring us some luck. The only thing about where I went today to get these packs is this thing, this box, does not want to stay open all nice like, like the display should stay open, but whatever, it is what it is. Sorry, I don't want to block that. That's Kind of our background for right now. Uh, we're gonna go Emporion first. I wanna get the, uh, as Leon Hart calls it, the Tyranitar after the buffet. That is a very cool card. I quite like the, uh, the art on it. Alrighty. There's your code. You filthy animals. One, two, three, four. Hope you don't get copyrighted for that one. I'm just talking, man, having a good time. Leaf Energy. Bofan. Bruxish, Scroll of Scorn, Cacnea, Corefish, Timber, Baltoy, Sizzlepede, Pawniard, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. All right. I'm gonna set these two off to the side. I forgot to sleeve those. All right, guys. This is the last pack for the episode, so. I hope that you've been uh, enjoying this unboxing, unwrapping, whatever you want to call it. I've definitely enjoyed just sitting here talking with you guys and can't wait to do the next part. I'm probably going to film the second part within the next couple days. Upload schedule is every Monday and some Thursdays. I'd like to do every other Thursday, but I want to keep content fresh and with how much I work, which isn't an excuse. But with how much I work and kind of the nasty weather that we've been getting, summer is right around the corner, thank God. And I don't want to necessarily only be doing Pokemon card unboxings, unwrappings, but pack openings. You get what I'm saying. I like to keep things on a rotation of the things that I'm doing rather than back to back to back to back to back to back of the same thing. So I'm trying to upload as much as much as possible. Anyway, last pack. There's your code. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, Leon Hart energy right here. Lightning. Oh, psychic. B Shark. Scroll of Scorn. Heat More. Q Bone. Zubat. That is su such a weird card. I just saw this in somebody else's unboxing. There. Yeah. 
He's made, hello, camera. He's made out of yarn. Somebody knitted or crocheted that guy. Yeah. Good job. Sparrow, Fomantis, Galarian Mr. Mime, the reverse Luxio, and the last card, guys. I'm feeling it. Ooh, I'm feeling it, hot hands. Oh. And a Marowak. All right, guys, well, not necessarily a disappointing first half to this box, but we definitely could have pulled some better cards. But we do have a whole other half of the box left. Actually, more than half. So, in the next video, we will be doing the other half of that box. And hopefully we do get a chance to pull that Golden Octillery or Hand Doom. Or, I mean, a Corviknight VMAX would be, dope, would be dope. Words are hard. I would love to get a full set of the Urshifu, but out of what's left here, I don't think we're going to pull an Urshifu from that. Or the full set, I should say. But you never know. I might get lucky. It's like playing the lottery out here. Alright guys, well, that was the video. I appreciate y'all coming by the channel once again. This has been Award Show. Sorry for the wobbly as well. I have it on my desk, which is kind of a makeshift desk. Just a little wobbly. We'll get there. I need to buy a new one. And uh, like I said, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Gently. With love. And leave a comment down below. Any videos, packs you might want to see me unbox, sneakers you might want to see on the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode of Award Show. Peace.